For this solo, we're in the key of E, and it's a standard 12-bar progression. We're going to be using E7, A7, and B7 as our chord progression to play over. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with this little pickup note riff, and we're going to... let me play it for you first, and then I'll explain what it is. And that's basically your second string B open, and then C sharp, and that gives us more of a sixth or thirteenth sound. Then we play an E again on the second string there. So what we have here is a little bit more of a major sounding pentatonic idea. Open, second, open, E on the uh, second string fifth fret, back to that C sharp on the second fret. Then what I do is I just kind of bend that uh, G note ever so slightly on the first string. Then the second bar is a little bit more minor pentatonic. Starts on the fifth fret, second string, third, slide down to the second, and pull off from the second to the open string, third string there, and then play the second fret, fourth string. Now what we're going to do is play, well, it's kind of like the same idea but in a different position. You can start it with the first finger if you want. And think of this as like E minor pentatonic three. Sometimes during the heat of the moment I might grab it with the third finger. But then I can slide into the sixth fret there, third string. So five, five, six, five, eight. And bend it as much of a whole step as you can before you sort of clinch it off with your right hand. Okay, moving on to the fourth measure, I'll go back to my old fingering for pattern two. And again, you'll see it kind of uh, mimics what we played in bar two, because we always want that sort of repetition and, and uh, something that's familiar from lick to lick. So again, that's... And what we're doing there is we're going, we're pulling off, going back to the A note, but then right to the E. Moving on, E, E, G, A, G, right in that E minor pattern number one, open position. Now what's really cool, I love doing this kind of thing with open strings, is we're going to bend that uh, A note to a B. And what I do is I gradually release it. And I play the open first string and second string underneath it. And do the same thing again. And you can pull that off, that A to that uh, G. Now, there's a really cool flurry of notes that happens here. And that's just walking down the scale with the flat five note. And again, now we're going to walk into the turnaround on the fourth fret, starting from that G sharp. So it's G sharp, A, A sharp, B. The next part is going to go six, four, four. That's five, four, three on the strings. Chromatic from the 6th fret to the 8th fret, 6, 7, 8, 3rd string. Now what I like to do here, it's a little bit of a head twister because you might look at it and not quite understand why I'm doing it. What I'm doing here is I'm playing uh, that D sharp, which is the 3rd of B7, and I'm playing the F sharp, which is the 5th, but then I'm bending on the 8th because I want to bend a whole step up to this A note. That's kind of cool. Back to that idea again, because we're heading back towards E7. On the second string, slide to the second, pull off. Now on bar 11 here, right before the last bar of this first chorus, 
I love using open strings when I can, so on the fifth and third strings, play that open string and let it drone. Slide with the second finger down. Repeat it. So that little turnaround lick there starts on the E note, second fret, fourth string. And a little hammer on from the open string, third string. G to G sharp, E, D, open fourth. And on that B note. Now we're going to slide up into the next chorus. So what we're going to do here is we're going to slide from the second to the fourth. Fourth fret, fifth string. There's your E on the fourth string, second fret. Sixth fret, fourth string. Third string, fourth fret. There's the E on the fifth uh, fret, second string. Now this is a great little kind of bluesy chromatic idea here. I love doing stuff like this. We're going to bend from the F sharp. And when we do that, we're going to release, but we're going to get to the first string, fourth fret. Watch this. And chromatic, put them all down. And slide up with your third finger for strength. 9, 12. One more time. Whoops. Now we're going to go super blues here in this uh, minor pentatonic pattern one. All that stuff is right there. So you can really kind of do what you want in that in that sort of world. I encourage you to kind of uh, expand on those little riffs, especially when it's uh, really sort of our basic blues playing uh, at the core. Uh, after we do that, we're going to go to this back to the open position and do some really cool stuff. We're going to play this double stop here. We're going to play B, D, and E, and we're going to leave that E string drone open. And slide and finish it off, two, open, two, back. Move up a half step after you do that. So here's the four, three, zero riff. The, uh, uh, it's going to be the B, E, really B, D, E. Now this sounds kind of, kind of sour until you move it a half step forward. That's the idea. Don't spend too much time on that one. Now what we're going to do there is basically we're in A right now, and we're playing the A, 3rd, and 5th, and adding that uh, unison E there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But before we get to that, move it up to that E and G. Now you're playing the flat 7 and the E notes there. Still sounds good against the A chord. Now go way up. and play there on the uh, 16th and 15th fret. You're playing, a, you're playing a B and a D and an E there. So from there you have Now it's back to bar 19 and it's going to be back to the one chord on E7. And we're going to play this riff in pentatonic 2 up an octave. But while you're doing that, halfway through it, grab the open E string. And use, that, use your second finger. And this kind of walks down the scale. All the while playing that droning E. Back to that double stop with the open E string ringing. It's over the B7. Now when we go to the A7, we're going to change it up. You're going to be playing 14th fret, 2nd and 3rd string. And have that first string ringing out. We're going to finish that off. Keep it droning. 
14, 12, 14 on the third and fourth strings. Now for the turnaround, the, the very end of the turnaround, all pentatonic from here on out. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14. G, E, E, G, E, E, G, E. Double stop, second, third strings. 12th fret, 14th fret. So that whole measure is going to go double stops. Finish it up there on the 14th fret 5th string, and then wrap it up with this kind of more major sounding lick. 11, 5th fret, 5th string, 9, 11, 9. Kind of brings it back to that more sweeter major pentatonic sound if we've played a bunch of that uh, more aggressive, edgier minor blues sound. All right, so that's a really cool Mike Bloomfield inspired sort of sound. I'm, I'm using more of a tweed amp model. Uh, really trying to get that old school sound that he had with a Gibson guitar and a lot of aggression, a lot of great open string stuff, some major and some minor pentatonics. So that should be plenty for you. When you feel good about that, move on to another solo.